So, you made it at last. Well, you're a bit too late to save your precious little queen, but hey, at least you get to die in unimaginable freaking pain. Here it is, the big boss! Are you sure you don't want to wait for Roland? We can't wait for Roland because Time he's- you ask for it, boo! Fight! You can't save the queen. You can't save anyone. Enough, Tina. You did it. We've won. And Roland showed up, and he was really happy, and everyone lived forever, and it was great the end. Enough! You can't just deny what Jack did to Roland. I hear you. She's right, Tina. So do you want to do some side quests, or...? You need to accept it. Roland is dead! I know! I know! But it's my story! And... You know what? It's okay. He doesn't have to go. Not if you don't want him to. Yeah, keep going. I actually want to know how the story is. Thank you. As the sorcerer's fatal spell hurtled toward the oblivious knight, it was clear that only a miracle would save him. But luckily for the knight, a miracle is exactly what he got. Hell yeah! So what did you guys think of that fight? I'm looking for some feedback. I like the part where we killed him. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Mordecai? It wasn't... wasn't bad, I guess. Don't forget, though, the queen is still trapped in her cell! As you step over the corpses of the unfortunate knights who tried to murder their queen, you know you've come to the right place. For who else could possibly bring the light back to the world? Who else but the most beautiful, most glamorous, and most graceful queen in history? But Stallion! I don't know why I'm surprised. She is beautiful. With the queen safe, she can finally cast her magic spell and bring light back to the world. She's gonna need some iridium to charge her spell. Better feed her some.
So, what did you guys think? That was really good, Tina. Hell yeah. That was honestly pretty fun. Hey guys, that spy just coughed up the access codes to the Hyperion moon base. Anybody feel like blowing up a space station? Hell yes I do! And so the Vault Hunters and their little psychopath headed back into the wasteland. Back, once again, into the world of blood and insanity they'd taken an all too brief vacation from. Goodbye. And in the days to come, they'd think of their fallen friends. Of the adventures they shared, both real and imaginary. And they'd remember that no matter how bad things got, they were never truly alone so long as they had each other. I love you guys! And then Claptrap said something stupid and ruined everything. Great job. You defeated the sorcerer and brought light back to the world. Sounds like you deserve a rest. Don't worry about the queen. I'll lead her back to town myself. Oh, are we done? We can't be done. Hell no! Nah. You got tons of side quests to do, boo, and I got all the time in the world. I'll always be here for you. Duplicitousness? Who the hell talks like that? What stallion wants you to pet her? How are we, um, how are we supposed to pet her? Yeah. Slap her on the badonkadonk. Duh. I pet the pretty pony. Roll to see if she loves it. <laughs> she loves it. You are the prettiest pony. Uh-oh, it looks like butt stallion is hungry. What should we feed her? She's a glamorous queen made of diamonds, Lily of the Valley. You feed her the finer things in life, like iridium. <laughs> but Stallion leaves you a present. It smells of rainbows and summer days. Ew. So if we just keep feeding her valuables, she'll poop out loot? That's what you're saying? Hi, so this. You're a weird kid.
Hey, Morkai. Hey. Hey. Love you. Don't be weird. <laughs>